Hi everyone, welcome back to my uh, Pi Game Python videos. Um, in this video we're going to look at a game that was already written by someone else, but it brings in everything that we've learned and you'll see exactly how it all fits in. And it's an enjoyable, cool game. So um, please don't forget to subscribe and share these videos if you like them. And uh, let's get started. So here's the code for the game that we're going to analyze. So let's just run it before we uh, go through the code and just see what it does and, and see if we like it. So it flashes through um, a lot of uh, shapes and objects on a square uh, grid. And the idea of the game is to match up uh, shapes in the game. And when you match them up, um, they're uncovered and they remain uncovered. And the goal of the game is to uncover all of these white boxes. So if you were paying attention when the um, thing flashed in the beginning, you would see, try and remember, and it's the memory part of this, you try and remember what squares had what shapes, and then you would try and match them up and close them out. As you can see, I've, I've not been very successful at this, but uh, but you get the idea. So it's a fun game, and it's it's definitely frustrating enough to be uh, good, and, um, and, and that's it. So um, that's the premise of our game. The code is uh, here. I downloaded it. The author's name is Al Schwergert. He, he writes a lot of books on, on Python. And uh, this is free to use, um, simplified BSD license. And the, the game, the reason I like it is um, it's easy to read. And authors went to great pains to make that easier to read. It doesn't use classes. Um, and not that classes are bad, but it makes it easier to understand at this point so easier to explain so there are three sections to 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 just break it down there are three areas the first area is just to define the variables and he uses constants to do that so that it's easy to read so for example the colors which we did in our python uh, pi game videos um, are labeled with capital letters meaning that they're constant and they don't change so rather than typing in these numbers um, to load the, the background screen, for example, we just use the, the constants. Um, there are constants also for the squares and objects that uh, you saw flashing on your screen earlier. The next section is the main, and this is the Python file, the main file that runs the code that gets loads the game and, and handles the logic. And finally, then, after the main uh, section, there's a list of uh, functions that are called through the main section and you can break these out and this is a, a reason i like this game for analysis is you can break out each area in what it's doing by just going to the function and troubleshoot it change it and uh, and, and see how it works so when we go um the constants are straightforward um you'll be able to read those all of the code in this should be familiar to you if you follow the videos that I had earlier with the drone and the boat in um, Pi game. There's a couple of things that may not be familiar with and I'll explain them here. The first one is the assert. So we're matching two objects so the, the game needs to have an even number of squares. So what the author did is he checks uh, to ensure that the boxes are even and if they're not then he crashes the game um, so this is a lot easier than getting some buggy results later in the game and the other thing that's not familiar and that we really didn't cover is the three-dimensional uh, box that he has to load the objects into and um, so that's accomplished with uh, lists we did lists earlier but it's essentially a list of lists and that's how you get the the three-dimensional so it's it's somewhat familiar we went through lists in detail and you can go to my python basics for that um so just imagine a list of lists and and you'll have the box and that's how the three-dimensional box so let's start with the the main program the main program is pretty straightforward um the frames per second loads at it we load the screen we call the screen he calls it display surface and then the mouse x and mouse y and the coordinates and that's um, all for to track the user events so when we go into the before we go into the while loop we have the um, um, loads the screen and calls the this uh, function called start game and anim animation and the reason he does that is that's when we did play the game and we opened up the screen 
the objects flashing back and forth that was how this was done i will warn you that this does not work well on a mac at least not in my experience on pi game for a mac um, and, and a lot of times it didn't uh, flash the object so you can still play the game but it makes it much harder much more difficult because you don't get the initial flash of where the objects are so you kind of have to start from 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 the very beginning so it'll take a little longer um, and then the while true is the actual game loop and and it checks for events for the user events we did this in our uh, in our pie game games also and then based upon the users uh, clicking and the user events then the functions mentioned beneath are all called and there's the box is called to the screen or are the um, the box are uncovered from white to the, the picture of the shape so uh, this all will be uh, familiar to you and it's all written here in a couple of pages so i encourage you to go through this um, and and see where it works and what it's doing and change some of the code and comment to that and see what doesn't work at that point and this is a perfect way to bring what we've done in pi game so far to something that's you know real and something that that you can play with um, where the drone and the the boat was while not much of a game it it did build logically on each step of pi game and it helps you understand how pi game works so this will show you how you can do something real with it so you can download this game from my github at pmahon2016 you can also go to my website at pythonforadultsandkids.com and of course you can download it from the author um, which is uh, al schwigert and you can either get it on this code here of this video or you could google uh, pi game uh, memory puzzle and you'll get several links to it so the code is straightforward i hope you enjoyed this uh, please subscribe and share if you did and uh, we'll do more of these in the future this game is an excellent way to bring everything we've learned so far together so i hope you enjoyed thank you again for watching and i'll see you soon